Hello everybody. Uh, I welcome you all to our channel Regalia and today we are going to uh, see the Forest Research Institute exam form and uh, what uh, what is this exam all about uh, the number of seats like uh, here we will discuss the uh, what is FRI examination okay number of seats number of seats how to fill the form how to fill the form is the paper online or offline okay online or offline then uh, we will see the cost of the form cost of the form and uh, how to submit the form etc and many more things that i will discuss in the video so stay tuned guys and uh, without now without wasting much of your time i think we should hop into the main contents now uh, before uh, telling you about the examination I would like to tell you what is FRI. So FRI is the Forest Research Institute. It is situated in Dehradun, and uh, this this center is uh, it is a basically it is a deemed to be university. Hence, it is controlled by the central government, and and the major fund uh, is received by the central government itself. Now uh, we will uh, look into the application form, like the number of courses. First, we will see the number of courses. First is the MSc Forestry course. then msc wood science and technology msc environmental management and msc cellulose and paper technology so masters for these many fields are are available in fri now the duration is 2 years 2 years 2 years each seats 38 seats each but in case of cellulose and paper tech there are 20 seats and for foreign nationals 2 to 2 seats are available okay the main thing uh, here which we have uh, which you have to notice that the fri institute deemed to be university Conducts an online remote proctored examination, which will be held on the second of May two thousand twenty-two on Sunday. This examination date might get shifted. Shifted? See, I don't know. But if the COVID pandemic will prevail, and seeing the seriousness, the date can be shifted. But but for now, uh, you can uh, consider this twenty-second May as the final date. Okay, it's the final date. Now, what is a what is an online remote proctored admission test? For those who don't know. i would like to tell you that a remote proctored online remote proctored test is a test in which you can give the test it's uh, it is basically an online examination which you can give at your own home but you will be monitored by a proctor proctor or a guide which will monitor you continuously for 3 hours okay what happens is that around 5 to 10 students are under one proctor it depends on the number of students that have filled a form but on an average you can take around 5 to 10 students will be monitored by one proctor he will monitor you through one screen okay and you will give the online examination through another device it may be a laptop it is usually a laptop or a pc and he will monitor you continuously but the good thing is that you will have to give the examination at your own homes okay now uh, what you have to do is that first you have to download the application form okay then you have to fill the application form offline itself and after filling the form you have to submit the duly filled application form along with the fee of rupees 1500 in the form of a demand draft and the demand draft should be from any nationalized bank like sbi okay sbi pnb or any nationalized bank in the favor of the registrar fri deemed to be university dehradun see i know it's a little bit complex process because it is completely offline and you have to post it Via via your national post or uh, via private, whatever you feel like. But anyone who is really serious for this examination can uh, can really go ahead. Okay. Now what happens is that this fifteen hundred fee is for one exam. What happens in FRI is that uh, you can apply for any number of courses depending on your eligibility. Like if you are eligible for two courses, see for example MSc Forestry and MSc Environmental Sciences, you can go for both these examination. okay i mean for both uh, for both these courses but you will have to give just one examination but you will have to fill two separate forms and you will have to submit a fee of rupees 3000 okay so for two forms rupees 3000 for four for uh, for uh, for three forms 4500 and like that okay so the last date of receipt of completed application form is 19th april 2022 so you will have to submit it by this end because fri is really serious they have also given that forms received after the last date will not be accepted in either in any circumstances so you should be really serious about this now uh, let's take a look at the eligibility requirement which is very important like for msc forestry 
okay for msc forestry the students bsc degree at least one of the subjects like it may be botany chemistry geology mathematics physics zoology and bsc degree in agriculture and forestry so agriculture student also have a great chance here msc wood science and technology bsc degree with physics mathematics and chemistry basically pcm and bsc degree in forestry so agriculture students agriculture students cannot apply in msc wood science now msc environmental sciences bsc degree in any branch of basic applied sciences or bachelor's degree in forestry or agriculture so agriculture students agriculture students they stand a chance here but they don't stand a chance in wood science now cellulose and paper tech 50% marks in sciences with chemistry as one of the subjects be btech uh, mechanical engineering so btech students can apply in this uh, stream as well as in environmental management but agriculture students again they are not eligible for this field now agriculture students they have uh, two options they can either go for msc forestry or environmental management or they can go for both these examinations okay now this is the reservation schedule the reservation is uh, as per the government of india like here you can see 15% of the total available seats shall be reserved for the scheduled caste and 7.5% for scheduled tribe candidates subjected to their being otherwise suitable okay now obcs according to the government of india policy as uh, as given by the national commission of the backward classes ncbc physically handicapped 3% reservation there is seats for in service candidates so in service candidates are those candidates that are actually working that particular campus like there might be some uh, someone who is particularly working uh, who is particularly working there in the fri campus he or she can also apply for this uh, for this msc course now foreign nationals reservation to the extent of 15% of the prescribed seats okay now so these are uh, the uh, reservation seats now here is very interesting thing like fri university provides merit scholarship to the top of students in each course scholarship may be up to 50% of the tuition fee per semester and is awarded separately for each sem depending on the result of the previous semester so if you are a bright student and if you really want to work hard in fri you you, uh, you really stand a chance that you can lessen your tuition fee by about 50% okay now uh, for the purpose of the award of the scholarship in the first sem the result of the entrance test is considered and the topper in general category and scst so category wise also it is given like for general category and scst category are awarded the scholarship in each course okay however it's a limit like the general the general category category candidate must score a minimum 50% marks and scst must score 30% marks so here is this condition that is applied now very important very important part that we are going to deal with and it is the content that what is what is going to be given in the examination so first of all 3 hour examination point number 1 then basic sciences including social sciences 100 question arithmetic now in the basic sciences no chemistry is very important chemistry physics biology that you might have studied in the 11 11th and 11th and 12th okay so 10 plus 2 syllabus comes in the examination arithmetic and quantitative abilities okay quantitative reasoning quants reasoning general knowledge and current affair 30 questions 100 questions for basic sciences english language comprehension vocab 30 question overall uh, i think so 200 questions are asked in the examination and you are given 180 minutes to answer all of these each question will be followed by four alternative uh, answers a b c d and candidate is required to select the one that uh, there will be negative marking so very important point there there will be an, a negative marking for wrong answer to the extent of 1 by 4th so 1 by 4 negative marking so you will get uh, four marks and 1 by 4 okay 1 by 4th of the marks allotted now uh, let's have a look at some of the important dates like opening date of downloading the application form it is 8th of feb 2022 last date of submission of the complete application form it is 19th april so you so you, you will have to submit the examination is on 22nd of may date of first counseling 4th july 2nd 7th and new session 12th so see these dates currently they are all subjected to the covid situation okay 
कोविड सिचुएशन कैन डिले द एग्जामिनेशन आई एम नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर बट इट कैन हैपन सो बट यू शुड बी मेंटली प्रिपेयर्ड लाइक द एग्जामिनेशन विल बी हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मे बिकॉज इट इज़ ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन एंड इट एंड इट इज़ पॉसिबल दैट द एग्जामिनेशन विल बी हेल्ड ऑन द शेड्यूल टाइम सो विद दिस आई एंड द वीडियो and if you really like the content if you really like the video just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and i'll meet you in the next video thank you everyone